Hey guys, iShield 21 fan here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mega Man NT Warrior graphic novels. I only have three. Got them from my library for 10 cents a piece. So, yeah, really good steal. But to start off, let's start off with a price here for you guys. $79.99 USA, $10.99 Canada. Rip off. But yeah, so there's your there's your price. Um, so I'll lay out the volumes I do have. Oh wait, sorry. I was writing a comic book and I needed a reference sheet, so I put that on there. Oh, uh, there's the sketches I used there. So yeah. Um. So yeah, so let's start off. Which is the earliest volume? Seven, nine, ten. Okay, so volume seven. Now this is written by a story and art by Rio Taka Takamasaki, I think you can pronounce that as. I don't know, but it is based on the Mega Man. I will get you. A, uh, I'll get you guys a, uh, where is it, uh, there you go, based on the Mega Man Battle Network series, um, the show, and the video games, oh wait, 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 no, sorry, it's based on the video games, what it says here is, where is it, oh yeah, this was the inspiration for the anime, so, without these, there would have been the Mega Man anime, which is very, very nice. So yeah, first of all, let's get on to the art published by Viz, not Shonen Jump Viz. So yeah, it's very nice. Um, for Mega Man, which is a more of a well, in 2000, 2000, early 2000s shows were very straightforward color. There wasn't. Well, I have an example of 2000s show here. I don't know. Oh yeah, I do. Um, uh, see right there. Karama. He's colored really um just plainly. Plain character design stuff. So that was their coloring. It's evolved into this now. Bit more unique for shows. But that was it. And um they did this guy took Mega Man and really made it his own. Like it looks it looks really, really cool. Um the story as we know in these games, Mega Man Battles are RPG, it's not like that at all. You, you'll have epic battles, like, it's super epic. Like, look at that. You don't see that in a TV show or a video game. That looks, that looks amazing. So, yeah, this, the story's great. Um, it's not, it's Shonen Jump, it's more like Shonen Jump. They don't give you those stupid, um, like in the Gundam Sea Destroy over here when they give you sound effects in Japanese. And then they have to put a subtitle there. I don't really like that that much. Um, but yeah, it's nicely done there. Um, so there's another shot of Mega Man. This guy draws very good, and he uses toning. So he, the black and white art, manga art, looks very nice. Um, if you are a Mega Man fan, I definitely suggest getting these books because it's it's a lot different from the video game and the show. So if you've seen the show. You're you're not gonna see this in your TV show. This is completely different from the show. If you you may not may have not liked the show at all, and you're gonna really like these books, or you may have really liked the show and you just won't like these books. Um, and there are two rating systems for these books. Um, this is an action one, so it's more for uh, people older, like twelve to twelve to sixteen, I'd say. And what is the difference between the actions right here? These are both actions. This is my favorite cover. This guy looks very cool. That's what my one of, one of my character design notes were for. Um, so is your action again? Oh, it's got some comedy in it, but it's not comedy's not that funny. Um, Tom Hawkman, very cool character. Um, yeah, there you go. So it, the the difference. This is the Viz Kids edition, and as you can see, the art and the toning. Is really toned down. It's um, like it's not as scary. So this is more for your like seven-year-old brother or sister or something that, you know, like when I if uh, let's go back to when I was a kid in this show. When I was five, this would have been the book I would be reading. I wouldn't have been reading this because it probably would have scared me a bit. I mean, with toning like this and like, so yeah, this this it's mostly the artwork that makes the difference. Like right there. It's mostly the artwork, um, the toning is taken off in here, and I'm not sure about language and stuff like that, like maybe you got some curse words in this one, I forget a lot, um, but, 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there is curse words in here, which I'm pretty sure there is maybe a couple, like damn or stuff like that in there, uh, that would have been taken out here. So, if you're like 11, 12 or older, get this one, get the action edition. Do not get Viz Kids, because you'll have a lot better time reading this than you do with this, but I just got these from the library. So yeah, um, so I didn't really have a choice, but I just really enjoyed reading like, Even the kids edition, I, I enjoyed reading it. Like, it, it's a really good book. Like, I, any Mega Man, Rock Man fan, pick up these books, guys. Like, oh my god, you're actually gonna read something, and oh my god, you're probably going to enjoy it. So it's a very good manga series. Definitely pick it up, there you go. Mega Man Anti Warrior by Ryu Takamasaki. It ran for 13 volumes. Not high run, but it was really good. This was what got me into anime. The f I used to watch anime when I was a kid. Then I didn't watch it a lot. And then the what introduced me to anime, I had a friend. I still have him. He really likes and you liked anime. I watched Bleach and all that stuff. So I said I'll give it another chance. I saw this and I played it. And it's like oh my god. Sorry, I ran out of a bit of memory space there. I had to just go delete a video. Um, so yeah, I was saying, like, you know, it's so anime. When, when when you go from, let's see, when did I stop watching anime? I stopped watching anime when I was eight years old. Yeah, believe it or not. And I didn't watch it again until I was, or right here, till I was what? When did I get this game? I think I was 11. I was 11 when I got this game. I said, you know what, I'm going to give anime another chance. Like, I don't know, it seemed a bit weird because you get those, like, Sometimes there's anime fans that take it too far. I do not know any of those, which is very good, but I've seen them before, and it just it take they take it a bit too far. So I was a bit I don't know about anime, but I play this game. I'm like, okay, when he transforms in this game from Geo to to uh, Mega, and then they have that sound effect. I was like, oh my god, that's so anime. But I really did like Mega Man. I really liked the game. I found it really really fun. And then I went to the library, and I'm like. I'm like, I found Mega Man, it's like, oh, I play, I, I rem and I did remember Mega Man as a show, I did used to watch it as a kid, um, I was really young though, like, I was four or five years old, I remember seeing, like, the ad for the Advanced PET on Teletoon and stuff, and I still had, like, this old, tiny little TV that was, like, all of ten inches across or something, like, it was really small. So yeah, but my this was my reaction when I went to the live, I was like, Mega Man, wow, this is so cool, I'm gonna get this, in ten cents, oh wow. So I pick it up and I go to open the book and I'm like, oh my god, it's backwards, what the heck? So it took me four, four tries to actually get the hang of reading manga. So yeah, my reintroduction to anime as not being six years old was Mega Man. And then I got into Bleach and all that other stuff back again. But yeah, uh, yeah, it was so weird trying to read this stuff. When you go from like, I don't know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, when you go like four years and like complete comic books and Goosebumps books, it's uh, pretty hard to get used to if it's your first time reading manga and you're looking into it. This is a good one to start off with because it does, the Viz Kids ones are pretty simple to read, but yeah. It's a very good series. If you're a Rockman fan, like I said, definitely, 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 definitely read these books. They are very good. Where can you find them? I don't know. Your bookstore can probably order them in for you from your city or something. Um, your, uh, if you not, try eBay, but they might be a bit expensive there. And again, your library might even have them, because I know mine does. So yeah, there you go. Mega Man uh, graphic novels. Definitely pick them up, and uh, thanks for watching.